I wrote desperate because I was a desperate mom. I felt very desperate. I had three little kids under five, and I love my children so much. They are just um, the world to me. They're beautiful, wonderful, but it's so hard. And I had no idea how hard it would be because I wanted to be a mom. And I was so excited to be a mom, and I love my children, and I'm so happy that I have them close together. Um, but those, that season, those years, are very difficult. And it wouldn't have been as difficult if I would have had some help or some encouragement along the way. That is really, I think, for me, what made me feel the most desperate is that I felt very alone and very, very tired. I remember having three kids under five and feeling like no one was there to help me. So we started talking and pondering like we always do, and we said, wouldn't it be cool if we had a book between real friends, uh, the real picture of the relationship that we had, and we wanted to model for all of you what we thought was, had been really fun for us. You've heard of Titus 2 forever, mm -hmm. but I think there's a reason in Scripture why Paul said to encourage the younger mother to yes. love their children and to love their husbands, because maybe it's not natural. Maybe it's something you have to encourage because it's, it's supernatural. There's two takeaways that I think both of us yes. probably want you to take away from this book. Mm -hmm. And the first one is, I hope you'll understand that since God created this role of motherhood, that it is a wonderful role, it's a significant role. We want you to hopefully be encouraged to embrace this as mm -hmm. your spiritual service of worship. The children were important to Jesus. If you love the children he gave to you, you'll be honoring him. Mm -hmm. And it's a great call and it'll shape your life. But the second thing we hope, and this is really a part of our desire with the letters and the chapters, we want you to understand that it really is. It's friendship. It's to be shared. Mm -hmm. It's to be a woman-to-woman -woman significant work that as women, we come around each other to help raise godly generations. You don't need to be alone, but you may have to cultivate friendships right where you are.